Hey everybody, Dr. Ray here. And today what I wanna do is I wanna show you and talk about what your setting should be for the recording format in OBS. So first, let me show you where it even is and how to do it. And then let's talk about what you should choose and why. All right, so I have it up here on the screen, but I'm gonna close it. So I have just OBS open, right? OBS is open on my computer and nothing's really set up. I just have a blank dummy page open right now. But what I'm gonna do, if I were to click start recording, OBS would record my video. And you know, we have this start streaming and start recording option. Why do I even use start recording? I use start recording. So I do like interviews and stuff. And sometimes you're recording something that you're going to produce later on, or you just want a backup copy. Like maybe I'm streaming and I'm going to record so that I can get, you know, like my best plays, like make a clip of them to upload somewhere else. So I always do start recording. The issue there are a couple issues with some of the options and start recording, so we're gonna talk about them. Some things you need to pay attention to. All right, so let's get right to it. So I'm gonna go, um, so when I click for start recording, you know, I need to go to settings. And obviously what I need to do is I'm gonna to go to output. Okay, so I've went to settings, output. Let me do it again. Settings pops up a window, I click output. Now, here is, re so here's streaming up top here, and then we have recording. First thing I need to pay attention to is obviously the path, like where my video is being recorded to, right? So I need to have some place for my videos. But, and then you can pick, you know, whatever quality you're, you desire to have. Um, I like high quality because I'm doing a lot of interview recordings and I like them to be really good quality so that when I upload them to YouTube and stuff, they're going to look really good. Okay, then recording format. Now I have MKV selected. That's not the most common type of format people are going to select. Now I look on here and I see like FLV and move and I'm not going to select those. Those are, you know, FLV is like what I would have used like five, seven, ten years ago even, right? Most people, I believe, and what I used when I first started using OBS is MP4 format because that's a video file, right? That's what I know, right? Video file, uh, MP4, that's what it should be. Unfortunately, what happens, and you can see they have a nice little warning here now. If I record this in MP4 format, what's going to happen is if my computer shuts down or just stops, um, for whatever reason, you know, I have a nice Alienware computer, but sometimes my computer um, will just crash on me, right? Like it just happens sometimes, um, especially if I'm doing a bunch of stuff like recording an interview and I've got like OBS up and Zoom up and whatever else, like a bunch of stuff going on. Um, what will happen is if your computer crashes and burns, you're, you're, when you restart it, that MP4 is just gone. It's, it's, you've lost it. And that really stinks. That's not what we want to have happen. We don't want to lose stuff, right? So what I do is I click MKV. The reason I click MKV, if my computer shuts down, I've saved the file. I've got it. I still have it. I didn't lose anything. So I use MKV for all my important recordings like interviews. Use MKV. I just simply click apply and okay and boom, I've got an MKV. Now here's the issue. Um, when I go to play an MKV, it'll play on my computer by default. But like when I go into a video editor, it doesn't really like the MKV file. Um, I find certain video editors don't like the MKV. So what you want to do after you're done with your video, you're going to click this Remux recordings. You're going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file Remux recordings. I'm going to click it. I'm going to find the OBS recording and the target file. So just as an example, I will actually go to one because I have, I should have some up here. Here we go. Look at this, an MKV. This is a video that I created, an interview that I did last week. I click open. Where do I want it to be saved? It's automatically putting it like in the same directory, just as an MP4. I clicked Remux. This was an hour long recording. Takes about... 10 seconds to remux an hour long recording. I would do it and I didn't do it, obviously. I click close, um, cause I've already done it to that video, but that's it. And then I have the MP4 version. So in OBS, I totally recommend you use MKV format for any recordings that you're doing and then remux them to MP4. So we go settings, output, recording format, MKV, and look, when you choose MP4, it gives you the warning. 
reply and okay Re record do you know you click recording you do your whole thing you're done we're done we open it up file remux recording turn into mp4 boom all good to go that's it simple simple process easy to do makes sense it's what your setting should be in obs later on